We live at a time when technology can be used to replicate reality, to augment reality, and to create virtual reality. Today, I raise an apostolic voice of warning about the potentially stifling, suffocating, suppressing, and constraining impact of some kinds of cyberspace interactions and experiences upon our souls, such as experimenting with actions contrary to God's commandments or enticing us to think or do things we would not otherwise think or do because it's only a game. The concerns I raise are not new. They apply equally to other types of media, such as television, movies, and music. Sadly, some young men and women in the church today ignore things as they really are. A young man or woman may waste countless hours, postpone or forfeit vocational or academic achievement, and ultimately sacrifice cherished human relationships because of digital distractions, diversions, and detours that have no lasting value. understand, I am not suggesting all technology is inherently bad. It is not. Nor am I saying we should not use its many capabilities in appropriate ways to learn, to communicate, to lift and brighten lives, and to build the church. I offer two questions for consideration in your personal pondering and prayerful study. Question number one. Does the use of various technologies and media invite or impede the constant companionship of the Holy Ghost in your life? Question number two. Does the time you spend using various technologies and media enlarge or restrict your capacity to live, to love, and to serve in meaningful ways? I testify that God lives and is our Heavenly Father. He is the author of the plan of salvation. Jesus is the Christ, the Redeemer whose body was bruised, broken, and torn for us as He offered the atoning sacrifice. He is resurrected. He lives and He stands at the head of His church in these latter days. My beloved brothers and sisters, to be encircled about eternally in the arms of his love will be a real and not a virtual experience. 